Welcome to State Attack. We're going to take a look at setting up Face ID on your iPhone 10. Now this is something that's usually done when you first get your device and are going through the setup process, but if for whatever reason you decide to skip it, we're going to show you how you can re-enable and set it up. So come into your settings and we're going to swipe down until we see Face ID and Passcode. So tapping on that will allow me to go into the Face ID and Passcode settings. So I have a six digit passcode that I set up. If you haven't done that, you're just going to hop into the settings and then you're going to be able to enable Face ID. But keep in mind, to use Face ID, you're going to have to have a passcode or password enabled on your device. So the passcode can be either a four or six digit number and the password is an alphanumeric phrase that you choose, such as one that you would use for your desktop computer. So I'm going to enter in my passcode and we're going to move on to the next screen. So now that I've done that, here I am in the Face ID and passcode settings. So what we're going to do now is swipe down to tap on set up face ID. Tap there and it's going to tell us that we're going to set up face ID. We're going to want to first position our face in the camera frame and then move our head in a circle to show all the angles of our face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and you're going to see the on screen, how it works, and then I'll come back and show you the rest of the video. So now it says face ID is set up. You'll notice I did do two scans of my face and we'll tap on done. Now I have options up at the top of the screen that have unlocked for me, such as my iPhone unlock. I can use it with Apple Pay, iTunes in the App Store, Safari Autofill, and even other applications. So there are other apps that third-party developers have used that integrate with Face ID, and I can enable and disable those from both inside this menu. You'll notice below that where it says use Face ID 4, we have attention and attention wear features. So require attention for Face ID means the True Depth camera will provide an additional level of security by verifying that we are looking at our iPhone before unlocking. Some sunglasses may block attention detection. So this means that we can't just kind of stare at our phone from a weird angle. We're going to have to be looking at it straight on to enable the Face ID unlock. Now, this does make it a little bit slower. If I was to disable that, the unlock feature would be a little bit faster, but currently unlocking or doing anything with Face ID is a decent speed, so I would recommend keeping that on because it does require attention and it is a different layer of security. Now, there's also attention aware features. The True Death camera will check for attention before dimming the display or lowering the volume of alerts. So that's something that you can enable there as well. And then if you are having issues with the Face ID and you feel like you didn't really get a good scan of your face, you can always reset Face ID and go through the setup process again. So that is how you set up an initialized Face ID on your iPhone 10. If you found this video useful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you in the next one.